Hey, I am super happy to see you guys all on this 4th of July weekend. I hope you have super fun plans with your family and you get to go outside and enjoy an extra day off. If you don't know me, my name is Christy Lawrence of Time to Profit. I help small business owners who want to supercharge their sales by making the sales process simple, effective, and rewarding for both you and your prospects. So I primarily focus on helping small business owners, whether you have a real estate company, a mortgage brokerage, an insurance company, get comfortable generating leads, starting conversations, finding good prospects, and then inviting people to work with them so that they can put their sales on autopilot and feel comfortable in the process. So today specifically, we are going to dive into five different ways that you can ask for what you want that will specifically make it easier for people to say yes. So the reason this is on my heart and on my mind this week is I both had somebody ask me for something that I would have been totally willing to do, but the way that they asked actually made me want to say no. And I also was in a position where kind of awkward, but somebody had something that I wanted and I got to approach them and ask them and they happily said yes. And so it got me thinking that as business owners, I know so many business owners that are intimidated by the process of asking for business, of asking for referrals, of asking for testimonials. And the asking feels really, really uncomfortable and hard. And I totally get it. It can be really scary. You're putting yourself out there, you're being vulnerable, and you don't know if people are gonna wanna say yes or if they're gonna be hesitant and wanna say no. So let's talk about what are the ways that you can make it easier for people to want to say yes when you ask them. So the first thing, and this seems so simple, but it doesn't, it goes with, um, it's important to mention, sorry, is you've got to be polite. Be kind and be polite. The energy that you bring to the ask is going to have a significant impact. generosity and kindness and politeness in your ask, people are going to want to help you. As humans, we're hardwired for connection and community, and we want to help other people get what they want. And so the key is when you're starting the ask to make it easy for people to feel comfortable in wanting to say yes, and you do that through politeness. So the second thing that's really important is to tell them why you're asking for this. So I'm gonna use my example of my ask this weekend at the farmer's market. So I had gone to the farmer's market with a girlfriend, we had gotten some breakfast burritos and <laughs> they were out of salsa. And it's like, oh, well, this burrito doesn't taste very good without the salsa. And as we start eating our burritos, I look over to the table next to me and there's a woman with her son eating burritos. They have one of their salsas open that they're used a little bit of and they're halfway through the burritos, haven't at, um, opened that sec a second thing of salsa. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna just go ask them if I can have that salsa. So I went over and I said, hi, you know, I'm super sorry to interrupt you. This might be kind of awkward, but I noticed that you had some salsa sitting there. They're out of salsa at the burrito place. Are you planning on using it? And she was super nice. She said, no, no, here, have it, right? Like, give it to you. But notice that I told her why I was asking. I didn't just say, hey, can I have your salsa? I said, they're out of salsa at the burrito place. So first of all, when I said they're out of salsa at the burrito place, that actually really reinforced some shared commonality too, because I also bought a burrito at the same burrito place. So, right, we have this common connection. So think about this from the standpoint of business. Say you are a real estate agent and you would like a referral for business from a mortgage, a mortgage agent or mortgage broker. One thing you might say is, hey, I really love the way that you interact with your clients and I have a lot of respect for the way that you do business. I feel like we're aligned in these key areas and because of that, 
so that we provide a continuity of shared values to customers, would you be willing to refer clients to me that hit these parameters, right? So it's very specific. It's not just, hey, give me something. It's, hey, right, this is what I see in you. This is what I value. And here's why I think it makes sense for you to do this thing for me, which then people want to say yes, right? It makes sense. They have that reason why. The next thing is to be empathetic, right? So that sounds so silly, but kind of put yourself in their shoes. Like first understand the standpoint of if you were them and they were asking you for this, what would be your concerns? What would be your initial first reaction? And that can really help you to shape your asks. So for example, in my salsa example, right, I said, the first thing I said is, hey, I'm sorry to bother you. This might feel kind of strange, right? So just to say like, hey, I get it. If a stranger walked up to me at a farmer's market and asked me for food, it might feel weird. <laughs> so just be empathetic as quickly as possible because that also creates that shared connection, shared values, and be authentic in that too, right? Really think about it. And then the next thing that is really important is to be very simple in the ask. Sometimes we complicate the ask, but the more simple that we can make the ask, the more likely it is for people to say yes, right? Do you mind if I have your salsa? Super simple, not, hey, can I use some of your salsa and I'll bring it back and, right? Like just make it easy, right? If you're asking for that referral, hey, I'm gonna make this, you know, here's all the things the why, would you refer business to me? Here's the best way to make that happen, right? Just make it super simple for them to give you what it is that you want. And then be generous afterwards. That's the final fifth step is to be generous. Whether you get a yes or whether you get a no or maybe a not right now, be generous. So be generous with your thanks. Say, you know, thank you so much. I'm really excited about working with you or Okay, I totally understand. You know, here's what I propose we do next. And I just really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about this today, right? Like find that generosity after the ask, regardless of what they say. So we've talked about five ways to really increase the likelihood of, for people to say yes. The first is be polite, right? Super simple, basic, but important. Tell them why. That's probably the most important thing that we often forget is give them a good reason why. Be empathetic. Help them understand that you get their point of view. You understand what it's like to be in their shoes. And when you make the ask, keep it specific and keep it simple. And then the fifth, fifth step is to be generous regardless of their response. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find someone who has something that you want in the next three days whether it's a cup of salsa, whether it's a referral for business, right? Don't make it super complicated, but find somebody who has something that you want and practice this. Practice using the five steps above to initiate the ask. And when you do it, I want you to share in the comments below what you asked for and how it went, right? And it's okay to be uncomfortable and awkward. And that, that's part of being empathetic. Like I feel uncomfortable and awkward too, coming and asking you this, or I don't mean to put you on the spot and I feel a little bit nervous about that. That's okay to include that in the ask. Uh, so practice, ask somebody, at least one person for something that you want, step outside your comfort zone. And then if you want more tools to help you start selling with more confidence and to really supercharge your sales, head on over to mytimetoprofit.com and download. There's a sales planning tool and checklist on the website. Download that. Again, that's at mytimetoprofit.com. And stay tuned for more tips and tricks to help you really Get comfortable with the sales process so that you can sell more and make the process simple and fun for you and your prospects. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great 4th of July.